after this, an apartment complex goes up in flames last night around 7.30. The complex is on Skyline Drive near Wisdom High School, just off of Hillcroft, and the Houston Fire Department says the fire was so large and intense, it took three alarms. That's about 100 firefighters on that scene. Our CW39's Kara Willis is live from the apartments this morning with an update on the families and what the Houston Fire Department knows so far. So, Kara, I know the fire was contained in about a couple of hours, but how were the families impacted by all of this? Good morning, Sharon. Really sad story for those families that were impacted. We're told from the fire department that 20 families lived in this building that you see behind me. You can see that there's debris all over the grounds behind me, and it's completely not livable. Now, there is one fire truck here that's on the scene as well, and they're also waiting on um, someone to come and knock over some of those hot spots that we've talked about earlier to make sure no one else gets hurt. But I'm told that 100 firefighters had to come overnight to make sure that this fire was can contained. I'm told they reached out to the Red Cross and other charitable organizations to make sure those families got what they needed, especially with the cold weather we've been experiencing. They wanted to make sure that they got what they needed as far as a, a safe and warm place to lay their heads. Again, the fire was very heavy. Debris is still here all over the ground. They haven't started cleaning all of that up just yet, but no injuries were reported. I had the chance to speak to a resident here. He didn't live in this building that you see behind me, but he said that he He's angry, he's sad, and this is not the first time that a fire has happened at this complex. All the people is around, but I go at my, my place, and then I come in out, and the people, they disappear, I don't know. The only can say, I'm sorry for what happened. And the fire department says that they are unsure if the smoke detectors were working properly at the time of their arrival. And there's no sign of what exactly caused this fire at this time. They'll be sure to give us some more updates later in the morning. But for now, again, their main focus is making sure these displaced families get somewhere to lay their head. All right. And what happens next? As you mentioned, they're going to try to find places for these people, right? That's right, Sharon. They're going to make sure that these families get what they need after losing everything in the apartment you see behind me. And also, they told me someone's on the way to knock over. I'm not sure if you can see, but at the top of that building, everything that you see up there, they want to knock it down. Anything that could still be hot at this time in case there's any heavy wind that can knock something down and hurt someone that's driving by or walking by. Let's reporting live for us here in Southwest Houston to tell us more about this devastation for these families. Thank you so much.